Hey guys, my name's Chip, and welcome to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Now, first of all, in the video, you'll see the location of this car, and it's the easiest place to find it, in my opinion. Um, the actual car itself, the Karen Intruder, for me, is one of the nicest cars in GTA 5. It's also one of the cars with the most history. Um, it does actually go back to a lot of the older games. It's very prominent in GTA 4, and um, it's just a really, really nice car. Customizable wise, there is absolutely tons you can do with it. You can improve on it so much, and especially when you lower the suspension, put a really nice paint job on it. It really does look amazing. It's one of my favourite cars in the game. I'm assuming it probably will be one of your cars' uh, favourite cars in the game as well. This car is known as the drift car because it's very good for drifting while you're playing the game, when you're driving around. If you do want the highest chance of getting this car then I would definitely say you need to be driving either a Sentinel or a Primo car. If you have either of those cars and go to this area, there's a very high chance you'll get it. Now people say, oh, this car's not rare, I've seen it loads of times, and all this and all that and all that. If you haven't got this car, it's rare. If you've had it in the past, it won't be that rare, because you'll see it all the time because you've already had the car. The way it works in the game, it will spawn if you're either driving a certain car or in a certain area at a certain time. Now if you see it driving around all the time, then that's fine, you've already had it. So that's a car you've previously had, so it will keep spawning, you'll see it all the time. How many times do you get a new car and drive around and all of a sudden you see it everywhere? It's like, wow, I've been looking for that car for ages, now I see them all the time. That's because you've got the car. The game recognises you've got the car, so it will spawn that car in more often, therefore making the car less rare. Just wanted to clear that up for you because some people do get a little bit confused by it. Uh, it is a four door car. Um, it does carry obviously the K on the front, the brand name. I was looking for this car for quite a while. It did take me a while till I read up a little article about the best ways of making it spawn and as soon as I jumped into the Primo I got it pretty much straight away. So make sure you get one of those cars because it does make it a lot easier to find um, and you know it makes it a lot quicker. Um, going around looking for it. So my Q&A video went down really well. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description below. That's just a little thank you for me for uh, 11,000 subscribers, which is really good. I'm, I'm pretty much on 11,500 at the moment. Uh, it's going really well. Again, everything's down to you guys. So I do thank you from the bottom of the heart for it. You really have helped me out, and I love the feedback and interaction we get. So that pretty much covers this video. If you have a rare car you want to find, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy the content. Uh, it does help me out a lot if you support me with a like. And also, subscribing is a very easy way of keeping in touch with my channel and the videos I upload. Thanks again. I shall see you in the next video. And thanks for tuning in, guys.